Da -da. <coughs> ah. oh. So, uh, good mo- uh, good, good, uh, yeah. Hello everybody, welcome back to the mo- <laughs> Welcome back to the Mothfuck Project. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna be working on it again. Uh, I was thinking about making a day off, but uh, you know. Ah, oh, does not have a day off. Not when I want it, or well, when I feel like it, at least. So yeah, we're gonna be working on this again. Uh, today we're gonna be working on the black spots or whatever it's called. We're gonna fix. We're gonna fix the light issues here, and we're gonna fix up uh, the wings itself. So hold your horses on this. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Layer, layer, layer. Full screen. Easy as that. So, yeah. So this is all color. This is all the colors for that. We need to actually have access to this stuff. So, yeah. Um, Why is this not working? Answer me. Why aren't you working? Hmm. Ha. Huh. Oh, because I'm using the blend tool. Yes. And then go back to the pencil tool. There you go. Now the pencil tool. Now I can go continue. Oh, hey, Mark. Nice to see you as well here. Yeah? So yeah, we have a problem, tiny little bit problem. Um, so as you can see, the problem lies uh, over here and over here. So there is a problem here and there. And we just uh, make this one out of the picture. Yes. So the main problem is here. This. So why is this not working? If this is the case that I screwed over a lot of work, but you know I could I could have been screwed over here. Hmm. Uh, that's not good. This is the opposite of good. I now know why this is failing. Huh. We knew. You didn't see anything here. You didn't see my mistake here. Nope. You didn't. You didn't saw the mistake. Alright. First things first, I need to find out where that paint line is. It's right over here. Good. I knew that I had left it somewhere. In the ghetto. So where is that leading? I guess it's on this layer. Oh yes, it is. Let me just casually erase that. So yeah, uh, mistakes. Mistakes are made. Yes, they are.
So we're going to be filling up this mess because it's important to for us now to do so because uh Oh hey blue. So yeah. The main problem here is that I actually forgot something. Well, I did not kind of forgot. I just you know screwed over myself. I'm working on this. It's the uh I need to fill up. It's it's the transparency of the wings itself, as you can see here. It's really screwed me over. Also, good news, uh, everybody. I I today I actually watched a movie. Oh my! Yes, I did watch the movie today. It was actually quite interesting to see. Uh, it was a movie that was totally, really unsuspect. It was actually one of the worst movies I ever saw. So, congrats. It was called Milan, 2020. It was not very nice. The pacing was really odd, and I didn't like it. But yeah, today I did see it. So yeah. A movie, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, indeed. The oh boy needs to be there. Like, that's not how things here work. That's not how things like these things work. Yes. Also, I did not know that people were using sticks and spears without shields is a very good way to train. You train your people with no with no shield is actually terrible. Holy hell. So yeah, watch that movie. The the Phoenix did do nothing, and I mean like really nothing. The only thing the Phoenix was there was for the oh wow, ooh. and the Phoenix was not even on fire. So yeah, welcome to the club. Yeah, indeed, welcome to the club now. Everybody loves you now. The the song is going on and on. So yeah. Uh, I was kind of disappointed. And then we watched the original one, and we were all happy. So, yeah. There's a lot of difference between the real, the original one and this one. Dishonor on you, dishonor on your cows, dishonor on your family. So yeah, that's the thing. <sighs> the worst thing was actually that uh, they removed the whole part where the horses collide with the infantry of the swordsmen. So, you know, you cut to Mulan who is chasing like five people and then there are no horses in the other scene. So, you know, you see these people fighting in the background. And you don't see any fucking horsemen anymore. It's like they all disappeared out of the uh, out of the action. Even though you know the first the first time you meet them, the first time you see them is like on horseback riding towards the enemy, charging ahead, and then you don't see them at all, at all anymore. It's like wow. So even e even you know even though they charged ahead, they went off their horses and then charged again. It's like excuse me. Am I missing some tactics here? Some battle tactics would be nice. Come on. Work with me. You don't want to work with me today, aren't you? You little rascal. Yeah, now I'll go back here. Yes, thank you. So yes. Mulan was not like Mulan twenty twenty was actually not a very good movie at all to watch. It was really cringeworthy because, you know, the main character actually had no good facial expressions at all. It feels really awkward to watch. It was like watching a puppet laugh or, you know, cry or do anything else than just looking bland. Ugh. It's quite an awful movie. I felt rather, uh, it rather felt shallow. 
I think the last Disney live action uh, remake I saw was the Lion King one. I wasn't impressed by that either. Yeah. You know, when you have facial expressions, it says a lot more than just, you know, the words. Also, I have no idea why they made Scar like that that ugly lion and not so as villainous as you know a villainous villainous looks way more better than you know just a regular old fucking lion that talks to hyenas I may say so myself I rather want to have see I rather want to see the shady businessman you know who owns the shop or owner who is a shop owner who takes children away to a dreamland and then you know consumes their souls in a game and he has like this evil musta and mustache and then you know parents will get furious about and you just you know your regular old guy Tim yes he's evil now beware you know that that's that's way that's way more evil that that's way more evil according to Disney like you know just this guy who just this random dude who just get, who passed by yeah that that that's the evil dude all the lions look the same no emotions indeed no emotions no looks it was all a lie all a damned lie and a lie remains a lie no matter how you shape it so yeah I'm quite uh I'm quite uh, surprised, you know, that, that Mulan was like this. It's like uh horrible. They removed the cra they removed the lucky cricket, they mo mo uh they removed the dragon and I was like uh that's not cool. Also no songs, that means like, you know, no joy in it, no no fun, no fireworks, no fucking fireworks, you know. No fireworks they have been using. Also a a beef with hum uh Beyonce singing, she took a lot of liberty with her random rendonitions. Uh Okay, I didn't know. I don't know what rendonitions means, but I think I know it, but you know, I'm not that great with knowledge of words so I cannot help you with that one randomnitions is like the rendering of you know Beyonce's lip singing between the, the the animal and the herself singing probably probably should be maybe depends situational Oh hey Space Junk, <laughs> welcome back. I mean, they that the way she was singing, she has her own own style and it felt rather forced uh, in the context of The Lion King. Ooh, that's not a good sign, you know. If something is forced to sing, it's like you know, I have my own style when I'm singing, so I will butcher this song because of the style I have. It's not a real good idea to butcher a beautiful song that is already there. Also, the switching of actors between uh, of Timo and Pumbaa was not happy with, knowing that you know the original actors were actually not hired for it because you know they they were really good at playing Timo and Pumbaa, and then you know you realize like how the new Timo and Pumbaa sound. It sounds really different because you know you're used to it. You have the you have seen them in Lion King One and Lion King Two. You have seen them in Timo and Pumbaa itself. So you know it, it feels really absurd to think that you know they went for another guy or well other people to let them have it. 
well if the if it feels better but you know I think they should have left this Lion King remake well alone you know there have been or at least went for animation style instead of you know live action because this live action and eh, didn't got it for me so and so is the Mulan version because holy hell that man just stands there and keeps on talking about how he kills the how he's gonna kill the emperor and eventually you know he doesn't kill the emperor because he kind of forgot that the emperor was just standing there in front of his face he had he had he knew that his that a mighty warrior would have come to challenge him so you know at least then give the impression that you want to challenge the warrior for the life of the emperor nope you didn't also you know how you know how funny it was that the how the villain of Mulan actually spoke it was like haha you have come now I will destroy you that's oh no no it was more like haha now you have come see I never play fair. That's exactly how the actor spoke when he ambushed the emperor. It's like, haha, you have come. And this mean, strong looking man, you know, with his strong muscles, comes and says, haha, you have come. Ah, you see, I have not played fairly. It's like, excuse me, what? It 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 didn't feel uh, it didn't feel really right. <laughs> there was a really no point to the live action of the Lion King since obviously hasn't uh, it wasn't really live action. It's just awkward CGI with with new voice actors indeed. And nobody wants to see new voice actors for people that they know that they love. Well, you know. Some did do their job well, but others didn't do their job because you know you were already used to the old uh, voice actors, which makes it really weird. They should have gone for uh, a different approach. Um, let's see, which which kind of different approach? Um, like they did with the uh, follow-ups to the Lion King. Yes, the Lion God. If they went for that kind of approach, you know, the Lion God. Then you could use the old. You can use still use the actors that have been playing the Lion God, and then you don't you don't fuck it up. You know you do, you don't you do, you still have the same voices, so you can you know compare them to the models to the character models instead of you know figuring out like, oh that's Puma, that's Timon, that's the, that's the bird person. You know then you have more. Uh, more to hold on, if I may say so. If anything, I would prefer the recorded version of a musical, which was really visual interesting. It would also have made more sense, yeah. Making animals realistic was stupid. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Why would you make an animal realistic if it's already realistic? It's just stupid. It won't work, Anakin. Surrender now. <laughs> Surrender to the void. Surrender to the void. So yeah. By the way, I'm just fixing the uh, gaps that have been left behind by my own drawing. So don't worry here. It's not like a big deal. It's just a couple of big deals, you know. Ugh. There you go. Anyway, let's see. So yeah, the new the new Mul <coughs> the new Mulan actually had uh, CGI rabbits, and I already saw why they were CGI because they were moving way too slow. It's like, excuse me, rabbits don't move at the pace of a bloody damn horse. They move way quicker. And yeah. It was really uh, the the jokes were like not falling into into the grasp of the audience. It was like, is that a joke? Oh, haha, that's very funny, you know. Also, it felt like the emperor was actually talking in Chinese, and then you know you had this subbed version of it instead of you know the normal version. So it felt really weird on on that part as well. 
I was I would have rather watched uh, Mulan in fully Chinese than you know this English dub where you know it didn't went well it didn't went well at all and yeah it uh, it it just felt really awkward to just watch it, it was like eh, these actors don't really speak very good it uh, doesn't feel like even some of the background characters actually had more emotions than the main fucking character in the plot it was so stupid it's like well she doesn't show emotion here she doesn't show emotion there they all spoke Chinese it was it was uh, dubbed to English ah see I knew it I knew that it was something really wrong well then they really fucked up the dubbing because holy hell it was terrible and by terrible I mean really 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 terrible so yeah if I would have done something else I would have just removed the dubbed version because holy hell it is trash also it is not worth it to buy it it's not worth to buy the new Mulan. It's it's just horrible. It's it's not worth it to buy it for twenty euros. Yeah, no, nope. nope. I'm gonna pay a single dime to that thing. It's an abomination. I'm glad I could watch it for free just to see how horrible it was, and I was shocked. I mean, like I knew that it was bad. I just did not knew that it was so bad that. You know, you could see what the hell's going on. Alright? I'll show you what they did, alright? They put Onis, a Japanese, a Japanese tradition, into a Chinese movie, alright? They put Japanese in a Chinese movie. They put fucking Onis in it. Onis, a thing that is traditionally Japanese. It's stupid. It's just fucking stupid, like... Excuse me, what? You're gonna put Onis in this? Ah, uh, nope. I am not buying this at all. Why is the Phoenix not on fire? Why is it looking like a peacock? I have no idea. Have you never seen a Phoenix before? I know. Well, all Asian cultures are the same. No, 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 no. Not mythologies. Not mythologies, my friend. Not mythologies. Religion and mythologies are not the same. If that's true, then you know Disney is doing a really, a really easy job of offending, you know, China. China, it's like stupid. Oh, there it is. Now I need to look if this is right. Is this the right way, my lord? Yes, it's the right way. Hmm. I should put more. I should use a darker version of this. There we go. And now I need to get. Oh well, I actually need to just pick up this darker version of it. So yeah, it's so stupid that you know things like that happen. Like, why? Why in God's name would you do such a thing? It's horrible. Oh, where did I put it? Oh wait, I put it there, right? God freaking damn it! Why am I doing it like this? I have no idea. I always forget to put it on the right layer. Ugh, such a terrible thing to learn. It's like, hey, did you do it on the right layer? No, of course not. Why should I do it? I was wondering why I did not have a flashback on this. Uh. This is the boat project all over again, like realizing that I did it on the wrong that I did it on the wrong way.
No, that's too hot. That's too dark. Yes. I don't need to zoom in. That's more better, alright. Where's this too red? That's too red. Now I need to do everything all over again because I was a dumb dumb. And I mean like really. Oh well, you know, nothing is better than practice makes perfect, I guess. If I was not such an idiot to know that I did something wrong, like putting him on the wrong layer, I would have been done forever already. But so this is why you cannot rush you know, art. Because you make tiny little mistakes, and if you don't change those mistakes immediately, you're gonna get your ass kicked. Or oh, whooped. Well, that word. You're gonna get your ass whooped. And maybe I'm gonna be changing up the uh, line texture for this? Yes. Probably gonna be doing that as well, so I'm gonna be changing the color of the line texture there for you cannot see the outlines of it. Probably. But yeah. Uh, well, the line color, at least. That's at least the thing I wanna do. But yeah, um, so they put they put Chinese and Japanese culture in into one movie, and it, it didn't felt really right. It was like, uh, I get why you did it, but no, that's not how things work here. Anyway, uh. So, how is your day? How are your days going today? Uh, audience, yeah, there you go. Easy. Nailed it. Nailed it right up. Ah. Because I'm doing well, you know, I'm trying to get this thing finally fixed. Even though it took me like two days to get to where I'm at now, so... Nice! Nice! Good to see people doing all right. Ah, <sighs> well, let's see. What is a good conversation to start with? That Oh, big giant birds. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, let's pick up a new, new subject, I would say. Like, did you know that the... Uh, did you know that... Did you know that... Yes. Do you know that elephants are actually afraid of mice? Mm -hmm. 
because that is actually true. They will casually avoid mice. Also, um, apparently animals can get drunk if they eat rotten food. Because, you know, rot, rotten fruit is actually... Al it has alcohol in it, so yeah. So there was once actually an elephant rampage where, you know, you had to... Ha where they had, like, drunken elephants rampaging a, fo uh, a fruit farm because, you know, they went drunk. And they had a party, and you know, everything that was standing in their way was just like, oops, I destroyed that, yes, I destroyed that, oops, my bad. So yeah, animals can also get drunk if they eat rotten fruit. So That's actually quite cool to know, actually, that uh, fruit, rotten fruit actually can cause drunk, uh, drunkness to animals. And trust me. You don't want to see an elephant getting drunk. Anyway, it's quite fun, but it's not very healthy for the environment. Because who knew what elephants do when they get drunk? Will they get laid? Will they play poker all night? And bat it all in for the chicks? You know. Yeah, exactly. They they won't get. They will not get. They will not get startled or anything else. So yeah, they're they're little li they are literally just walking walking trucks, you know. Oh, that tree over there it should be a shame if somebody tramples it. You know? All that stuff. So yeah, drunken elephants, best stuff that ever happened. Also very terrifying stuff. But yeah, it does exist. Also, um, if you're ever in Africa. Uh, never try to try to win a contest with a spitting cobra. No. Always wear safety goggles if you visit a spitting cobra. Why? Well, first of all, spitting cobras are very terrifying. Second of all, they spit their venom instead of injecting it. So, does that make the ven does that make the venom dangerous? Yes, it still does. The venom is still dangerous towards humans. How? Well, if you if you dry it up and then inject it into every single person, every single person will die. That's how powerful that venom is. Then you're probably asking, like, why is the snake not using it, like, with a biting? Well, um, because mongooses. What? What are mongooses? Well, those are the red-like rodents that will run around in Africa who actually are adaptable and immune to poison. They are almost nearly immune to poison, so most snakes are like, well, drat, and I cannot deal with this drat. Yes, indeed. You cannot deal with it, so you die. A spitting cobra has developed something very nasty, which means that it can spit its venom out of its, out of its fangs and spit it into somebody's face. <laughs> So, because the spitting cobra is actually one of the co is one of the few cobras that can actually do it, it still classifies as a cobra because of its uh, neck and of its venom. It's still deadly, but it is not deadly if you know you get it on your hands because you know it needs to be ejected. True. A spitting cobra, however, spits it. Guess where he's going to be spitting this beautiful venom? This nice concussion of venom. Well, this venom is going to be aimed directly at your eye. And guess what? He's an excellent aimer. So, uh, should I be afraid of it? Well, I said it was harmless on the, on, on, the, on the skin, right? Yes, but not on the eyes. It actually will dissolve your eyeballs and then, you know, you will be permanently blind. So, yeah, um, spitting cobras are no joke. Uh, you will get permanently blind if you get it in your, inside of your eyes. So, yeah, that Phantom is no joke. It's very scary, very painful, and very powerful. Because it can blind you. And you know, a blind person in Africa stranded there, eh, he, won't, uh, he won't survive that long. 
<laughs> oh hey Nick. Nice to see you. Yeah, the pink one is actually one of the scariest elephants in Dumbo. I must say it myself. I also like how the old fashioned Disney villains all are represented, you know? An evil grin, an evil smile, you know. Just they are like the horrible person, but they are like really dedicated to their work. And I really miss that with the uh, uh, Mulan, you know. The big mean bad guy does not even have a clear plan. And he could have solved this whole damn thing way earlier without Mulan interfering. So he would have already won if, you know, he did if he did it right. Because apparently, you know, the 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 the, the witch can actually transform into any peop any person that she wants to have. So she can go from a uh, a commoner to uh, a palace guard, and then from the palace guard to the high advisor to the emperor. So yeah, um, she can swap. Bo she can body swap. And uh, the strange thing is, like, why didn't she use that before? I have no idea. She has been shown in the trailer, or well, she has been shown in the whole damn movie already that she can do it. And why she is not doing it, I have no idea. Why they don't just, you know, go for the High Council, get yourself on the High Council, assassinate the King, assassinate the Emperor. Done. End of story. No Mulan needed. That was actually the whole story all about. So yeah. Uh, it was not actually quite good uh, movie to watch. Hello, I'm doing good. My semester of college is over, and I'm enjoying my winter break as much as possible. Sweet, nice. That live action Mulan is terrible. No, no, I don't think it is terrible. I think it is the fucking worst. All right, there you go. I just said it. The whole plot didn't even make any fucking sense. They did way too much stuff to get to where they were. It, it, the plot was not that... The plot was actually terrible. They had no New Year Eve or anything else that, you know, everybody is busy and don't pay attention on the Mongols. No. The Mongols are attacking and are, are ninjas ev and ninjas are everywhere. It's like, what? Ninjas? Yes. And every single main character that's in the in the movie survives. So only the guys that don't have a hat major role they die. The others, eh, they all survive. It's like you know watching Luke Skywalker and Rey Skywalker fight it out. You know that that kind of stuff. It's uh, it's trash. It's utter trash. It's uh, it's suing to the maximum. And I mean, like, not like, I'm not meaning like Luke suing, I mean like Ray, fucking motherfucker Ray suing. Ugh. It was the Sue beyond Christmas. Everything happened before it. So, yeah. I'm glad Disney lost, them, lost money on, on that live action uh, movie. Yeah, they should be proud of it, you know, losing money to that. How could you, how could you ignore the bloody damn dragon? The warrior, the warrior spirit is the dragon. Why don't you go for the dragon? You had every opportunity to go for the dragon, and what you going for? For a fucking flying peacock. Oh my god, you're so brave, and you're so powerful. Why didn't you do it before? I have no idea why they didn't do it. Probably because they feel bad. It just was so stupid, and I mean like stupid, stupid, that they did not do it. A peacock as a represent a representative of power. What? A peacock as a represent a representative of power? Excuse me. What? No. No. Onis. No. They don't exist in Chinese culture. For fucking crying out loud. If I'm correct, they only exist in Japanese culture. Why do I know this? Because I have watched Jackie Chan Adventures and Jackie... Ch 
Chan was the director of this series and he took it very seriously to keep everything under the normal Chinese culture. So everything that is Chinese is Chinese. Everything that is Japanese is Japanese and therefore you know exactly what is what. And yes, the dragon represents pure strength. So yeah, like a warrior, for crying out loud. I thought it was a phoenix. Yes, it was a phoenix. Technically it was a peacock with very, very terrible colors. Yeah. Peacocks are way, way trashy than a fucking phoenix. A phoenix is supposed to be on fucking fire. You know, like firebirds. They're called the rebirth birds. Yes, they're supposed to be on, in flames, you know. Be these mystical creatures that can reborn after they land. As a meteor. No. They didn't choose that. They went for the wrong way. They went for the, the way of the ray. Yeah, there you go. Easy words. And yeah, you're absolutely correct. Dragons are much cooler than peacocks. Yeah, indeed. Even my Marfog is way more cooler than a peacock. Come on. It's a fucking peacock. It's like, eh, I don't need a I don't need a rainbow shitting peacock to tell me where I need to go, you know. Tell me the way. So now we can look at this. What is going on? Tell me what is going on, Nikolai. Tell me. Okay. Now I need to look for the. Raindrops streak into my head. She's very really motherfucker. Yeah. Wow. Evan. Wow, the, those wings look really great. Oh, thanks, Nick. Thanks. Yeah, I'm trying to do my very best to get these wings correctly done. But you know, it's really hard sometimes. I need to go over here. Grab the color that I needed beforehand. There you go. Easy fixable as lead, I would say.
So yeah, I'm just fixing up the little gaps that I've been left be leaving behind. Because you know, I'm a very inconsistent person when it comes to these things. Alright. I think now it's finally fixed all of it. Fix it all. Suck it. Alright, we can now continue with the parts that we needed to do in the first place. And I was creating new uh Alright. There you go. Easy. Yeah. I want to take a look at it on this side. There you go. Awesome. So yeah, uh so how many oh. there you go. So how many split offs is it? It's like that uh So I need to fix that part. All right, cool. Yes. So yeah. Um. Yes, I'm trying to keep my, you know, access to the wings, seeing if everything works like it should be working. So yeah. I know this is might a little bit taking a little bit longer than you think, but I rather want to do it correctly than fuck it up. So I'm just giving you a clear warning here, like. Beware! This takes a lot of time for me because I'm not used to it. Alright, so now I have done that. I have now completed the first part of it. So now we can take a look at it. Push. Then there needs to be a second part, like over here, a tiny little part. Alright, so a tiny little part must also be there. And then there needs to be light as well. Alright, so light and dark. So I have the light, but I don't have light light. So I need to now go for this approach. Put a second one down. Needs to be un needs to be above this, yeah. No, it needs to be under it. And then I need to go for this color. 
more this guy. Alright, so I can do that, I can do it twice before I leave, so I can continue and then I need to do it here again. Yes. That actually looks quite cool. I must say myself, that looks actually quite awesome. That looks like a moth. That looks like a moth texture to me. Yeah, that looks like a moth texture to me. Sweet. Alright, um, let's see. Oh, we're already an hour in. Damn. So yeah, um, let's compare it to a empty wing, because you know that's awesome. Yes, this does not look like now what I'm going to be doing, but surely we'll see that this is going to be good. Alright, so, let's take a look at it. So, don't mind this little spot right here. I'm just going to be putting it like this, so it's a little bit loosened. It's a little bit loosing on the, you know feeling of it but I think this does give the feeling that it is a moth on the texture quality of the of the wing so yeah I'm gonna be going with this this kind of approach uh probably gonna be also editing um uh, allow me to just get a new layer right here probably gonna be editing as well to put it uh put around here I'm gonna put some you know, blending with it, so probably going to be adding some more fluent colorization in the parts over here, and then that one, and that one, and that one. So, I'm going to maybe put some more colors in the, uh, in the main uh, wing part. So, yeah. Where it's going to, uh, to, uh, to going to, uh, uh, going oh you can really see uh, where it's going now though yes indeed so yeah I'm gonna be fixing that up and uh, so of course this is not the full this is of course not the fully you know it's not fully done because you know it still needs sliding it still needs shading this is just a coloring part but uh, I hope you will like it and uh, Thanks for all for watching today, and I wish you all a great I wish you all a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye.